Hi guys, my name is Greener James Girl and welcome to the pregnancy event in Sims Free Play. I never thought I would be saying those words. We have got pregnant Sims. This is so, so exciting. But to get this event, you have to have completed the two and a half Sims quest. And then you have to build the maternity store. And you then you start, once you build the maternity store, you will start the bumpy ride quest. Part of that quest is this event. And you will automatically start once, once you've done a few little things in the bumpy ride quest. You get this pregnancy event. The journey begins nine days. Days. Clara is starting a life-changing adventure. Clara is going to be our first pregnant sim, so let's start this event. And, oh, there we go. Task complete, start pregnancy event. So that is part of the bumpy ride quest. Now we need to select sim icon. Congratulations, Clara is pregnant. The pregnancy event icon has been added to the top left corner of the screen. Open the pregnancy event menu, then tap on the sim icon. So we have now got a new little icon in the top left of our screen, like we always have with events. We can click on that, and here we go. Pregnancy event trimester one. This is so amazing, amazing, amazing. So let's click on Clara. That's task complete. View pregnancy daily goals. Finding Clara is important as they have goals only they can complete. Open the pregnancy menu event to view the daily goals menu. This shows you all Clara's goals along with their time lengths that have to be completed each day. Open the pregnancy event menu and view the daily goals. So let's go back into there and here we have daily goals. This I think is amazing. I saw like a little preview of this, that they have little things that they have to do each day. I don't know whether, what happens if you don't complete it every day. I think that you just don't get, um, you don't get the coin, the, not coin, but like the little, the little pink tokens. You don't get those. You can see on the to-do list there, there's some pretty cool things. Use a computer to send emails announcing the pregnancy. Throw up in a toilet. Thank you, morning sickness. Write a letter to the future baby. Oh, Write letters announcing the pregnancy. Check a fit. Yeah, okay, this is cool. So we have done that task complete. We've viewed the goals. Now view pregnancy support tasks. Great work. Clara knows what to do to become a prepared parent. Completing the daily goal sets awards maternity tokens to be spent in the maternity store. But other sims want to help out your pregnant sim too. Open the pregnancy event menu to view the support tasks. So these are tasks that other sims can do. So back in here, and here are support tasks, which practice preparing baby formula on a stove 13 times. This is cool. So other sims do these things to support our sim in their pregnancy. That's amazing. So we've seen that. Now we need to view baby bonus. Support tasks also earn you maternity tokens and can be performed by any sims. Complete all the goal sets and support tasks and your baby sim receives a number of bonuses that are with them for life. Open the event menu and tap on the baby image to view the baby bonus. So let's go back in there again and baby bonus you can see here. Let's click on it and the baby bonus. The sim with the baby bonus earns more XP, complete actions faster, is not affected by low motives, and has the bonuses for life. The requirements are that all daily goal sets are complete and all support tasks are complete. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, now complete the pregnancy event. Clara, with a little help from their friends, now feels fully prepared for their pregnancy journey. Have Clara complete the pregnancy event. So let's see, what's the first thing that she has to do today? Her daily goal is to use a computer to send email announcing the pregnancy. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll click on a computer and announce pregnancy. That's one hour and 50 minutes. So she can do that. And then the support tasks that people need to do are practice preparing baby formula on a stove. So let's get another sim over here. Let's click on a stove and practice preparing formula is two hours. So we can get many sims doing that. So let's get somebody else doing that on a different stove. Practice preparing. So we need to do this 13 times. So I'm presuming we can just get 13 sims 
all doing that on a stove to complete that task, those support tasks there. Oh, so this, it does take different amount of times. So this is only a one star stove. This takes two hours and 15 minutes. So Clara has finished using the computer to send emails announcing the pregnancy. Let's go back into the daily goals. What I didn't realize before was that all of these goals that we can see are day one goals. I thought they were like day one, day two, day three, but no, along the bottom, we have each day, as you can see, like, so day two, obviously they're not up at the moment, but day one, this is all of the things that she needs to do on this day. So she's used a computer to send emails announcing the pregnancy. Now she needs to throw up in a toilet. Thank you, morning sickness. There is a lot to do. These pre This pregnancy event, depending on how long each task is, this could be quite difficult to do, potentially. Let's go to a toilet and throw up. I'm assuming that's going to be a pretty quick action. Can't get to a toilet, here we go. Go to the toilet, yeah, morning sickness is 27 seconds, so that's not too bad. Let's have a little look, she's, oh, she's, oh yeah, no, here she goes, she's running to the toilet. Oh no, <laughs> poor thing, oh, we can't see her. Oh yeah, there, look, she's thrown up in the toilet. That's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> oh, poor Clara. Oh, she's off again. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> She has finished that. Now let's take a little look. What else do we need to do? Write a letter to the future baby from a dining table. So this is a nice little thing. Have we got a dining table? I'm not sure whether we've got a dining table in this house. Let's add one. I'm just going to place any dining table down and I'm assuming we need a chair as well to go with it. So let's place a chair out here. And then click on the chair and write a baby letter that is one hour and 50 minutes. Also, lots of our Sims have been practicing preparing formulas. So let's go over to them all. I have done that 13 times. I've got 13 different Sims doing that. So that is complete. Let's just go back and see the so support tasks. Oh, so now we have have 13 Sims share parenting advice with other Sims. So again... 13 seems to be the number. Let's see how long this takes. Share parent advice is 4 hours and 35 minutes. Wow, this is going to be a very time-consuming thing. I love it though. Really, really like this. As you know, the event is 9 days and each day represents 1 month in a pregnancy. So she's in trimester 1 at the moment and then on day 4 she will start trimester 2 and that's when she'll get her baby bump. And then on day seven, she'll start her third trimester and her baby bump will get a little bit bigger. So we can't start wearing the maternity clothes until day four when she's got her baby bump. Clara has finished writing a letter to future baby from the dining room table. Let's go back into the tab and see what else we need to do. Write letters announcing the pregnancy from a dining table. Okay, so stay at the dining table. Click on it again and announce pregnancy for one hour. I have a lot of sims around the place that are sharing parenting advice, as you can see from my sim tracker. Lots and lots of my sims, in fact, almost all of them, all my adults, and in fact, my teens as well, teens can take part in these support tasks. So all of my adults and my teens are doing this to so hopefully finish as soon as possible because I want to be winning these maternity tokens. In fact, we should probably take a little look at the maternity store because we haven't looked at it yet. You can see that there's two tabs at the top. We have clothing and then we have furniture, decorative items, wallpaper, flooring, things like that. In the clothing one, there's two different sections. There's breezy and relaxed. I'm assuming that like, sometime in the future, maybe they'll add different ones to this. But the breezy, there are 15, well, there's 14 extra ones. I think the 15 is the black and grey one that we had to buy in the quest. We will collect our maternity tokens from doing the tasks within the event. And then when we have enough, we can buy all of these different pants. So we have cargoes and t-shirts in the breezy. And then once we collect all of them, we can get the prize pack where we get the t-shirts part of it. So we buy the pants and then we get the t-shirts as the prize which they are really cute look at that little baby bump awesome and then in the relax section we have 14 and we buy the seven i'm assuming there's seven tops which are like t-shirts with a little shirt over the top and then the prize for collecting all of them 
are the shorts that go along with them, which are actually really nice to be honest. That is the clothes and then in the furniture section, again we have two sections. We have a nautical theme and a contemporary theme and in each one there's two sets so you can see in the contemporary one there's two sets there, in the nautical one there's two sets. You have to complete set one before you can move on to set two. And with set one, you can see that there's 30 items within the nautical theme. There are five items in set one, and then the prize for completing set one is of these items. And in set two, there are 14 items here that we can buy with maternity tokens. And then once we completed or collected all of those, we get this grand prize of these items, which amazing it looks and then let's have a little look at the contemporary so the same type of thing again so there's five items in set one and then you get the prize here of like a contemporary nursery for your babies and then once you've got all of them you can move on to set two where again there are 14 contemporary items that you can buy with your maternity coins and well tokens i should say they're calling them tokens and then when you've bought all of those you get the grand prize of these contemporary items so it's pretty cool we'll have to wait and see how long it does actually take us to collect the tokens to be able to get all of these items clara has written her letters from the table now let's go and see what else we need to do we need an appointment or oh, use a phone to call a doctor to your home to check on the baby's progress so let's go to a phone have we got one in this house i don't think we have i might have to place one Let's click on the phone and call doctor and does the doctor come? Yeah, the doctor comes to the front. These are all our same. Look, they're having a little gossip at the front of the house. They're sharing parenting advice out here. Let's click on the doctor and... Oh, so here we have have a checkup. Does that how much it costs? Okay, so there's two different options here. We can have a checkup. They both take 6 hours and 15 minutes. One of them is 166 thousand six hundred and ninety simoleons oh my goodness and one is 13 lps if we use 13 lps we get 160 maternity tokens i am not going to use 13 lps with this i'm gonna do have a checkup with the 166 thousand wow simoleons that's insane so it's expensive to have a baby this way so let's do that and we'll start that for six hours and 15 minutes do you wish to pay for this appointment? Not particularly, but I'm going to have to. So yeah, let's pay for this appointment. I've just noticed as well, if you look at Clara's icon in the bottom left there, she has a pink circle going around her normal ageing green one. And I'm assuming that pink circle is her pregnancy progress. That's pretty cool. Let's just see in Sim Tracker. Where is she in Sim Tracker? Yeah, see her in Sim Tracker there. Have a check up. Right on the very far left there. See that little extra circle that she's got? That's a cool little thing. I'm glad that this doctor is making a house call for this amount of money. I would have been pretty annoyed if I'd have had to have gone somewhere. Clara has finished her very expensive doctor's appointment. Now there's one more thing to do in her daily goals and that is to check a fridge to make sure it is baby proof. So let's go, I don't, I don't think I've got Clara selected. Let's get Clara selected. And then click on the fridge here and check if it's baby proof and that takes three hours. Wow, okay, so that is all the tasks done, but you do have to come on the game an awful lot to get those done. I'm not complaining, like I can get on my game generally throughout the day to get these tasks completed. So it's fine for me, but I can imagine for a lot of people, it's going to be quite difficult to do these daily goals. Let's take a look at the support tasks what are we doing we're sharing i think that they may all have finished that actually let's go and see them all yeah they have task complete on share parenting advice let's have a look at what else they need to do so we're seven percent done on that have five sims oh so it's not 13 this time have five sims get a snack for morning sickness from a fridge oh so they're gonna like help out uh pregnant clara by getting her a snack from a fridge let's click on a fridge and whoa 15 hours snack for morning sickness this is insane how many sims it takes to do these support tasks and how like much time it takes i'm going to do that with uh, five others then 
I have just noticed as well that whilst Clara is checking the fridge here to see if it's baby proof, that these tasks to speed them up, it is done with SP as opposed to LP. So this is going to be difficult. I know I've been saying it a few times throughout this video. I do think this is going to be difficult. Let me know down below what your views are on this. Do you think you're going to be able to complete these daily goals for nine goal, nine days straight? Sorry, I'm not sure. There we go, Clara has finished looking at the fridge to see if it's baby proof. Gold set is now complete. All the day's golds are complete and maternity tokens have been awarded. So let's go and have a little look in our little event. Oh, so did we get like 600 and something there? So we have 1,120. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we can't afford anything at the moment. That's fine. Can we afford anything? No, we no, we can't afford anything. That's that's okay. So our daily goals are done. Oh, your pregnant sim is exhausted after completing all of her goals for the day. Come back tomorrow when your next goal set has unlocked. So you can skip that for LP to speed it along, but there's no real need to. So I'm going to wait for that time, obviously, to pass. The support tasks are not sort of a daily thing or whatever. We just continue to do them throughout the nine days and obviously try and get all the way along to 100% and do as many support tasks as we can. I am going to end it here. I think I may do, I don't know whether I will or not, but I think I may do a video on every day. Things are going to get different. It was definitely sort of on day four where our sim gets their pregnant belly and then on day seven when they get a bigger pregnant belly and they get a little bump. Things are going to change then, so I'll definitely do a video on those days but maybe I'll do a video on each of the days. We'll just wait and see how, like, if there's nothing particularly any different, maybe I won't. But yeah, that is the pregnancy event. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I would love to chat to you guys about this update down there. Thank you so much for, oh, she got a bad back from this uh, belly. She's only in the first, first trimester and she's already got a bad back. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and I will see you soon for another video. Bye!